Good afternoon, everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning. Just wanted to show you the new truck I'm so proud of. I absolutely love it. Thing is amazing. Um, anyway, we just finished up a walkway that leads out to a boathouse. Now, it's a Trex deck. And, um, and so, yes, you can clean it with SH. And, uh, but it's a really easy clean. Uh, no high pressure tips are necessary whatsoever. And these boards were black. I mean black. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the nautical ropes, the posts, and the boathouse itself. When we get down there, and it's gonna take us probably about a minute to get down there, uh, you're gonna see um, a boathouse that has uh, you know, a lift. Um, and this thing looked like the Haunted Mansion. I mean, literally, there were spider webs like I haven't seen in an old barn up in West Virginia. I mean, there were spider webs, must be 10 years worth of them. Eggs, I mean, there was such nastiness coming down. Now, what I do is I pre-treat with, with water. I use my X-Jet nozzle and I shoot, um, uh, I shoot, uh, with a semi fan tip. It's probably about a, let's say 15, uh, edging out to 20 degrees. Um, I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna show you guys something to look for. This pool has a leak. It's a travertine pool deck and I wanna show you how I know there's a leak. Check out the grass. Can you see how the grass leads out from the pool? See how that's all burnt through there? So that's a leak. And that's from the chlorine in the pool water that's heavily, heavily diluted. Um, and I even talked to the pool man because the water was way up high. And um, I said, hey, you need to dump some of this water out for, you know, the homeowners, they're not home. And uh, we didn't want it to flood inside the house. But, um, but nonetheless, can you see that leak? So uh, you can imagine what your SH does to grass if it's not diluted properly. So when you're mixing your stuff out there, guys, make sure you're doing it in a safe area. Make sure you've wet the grass first. Uh, don't be sloppy with your chems. I'm gonna show you what this, uh, this Trex deck looks like. Now we had a board that was loose. Fortunately, I have a carpenter friend of mine. He scabbed in a two by four, pressure treated two by four. And, uh, and we sank some nails that were, um, that were uh, they're like um, a, uh, a star bit. And, um, and they, you countersink them so that they can't be seen. Uh, turn around here and show you. This is my work. So as you can see how beautiful those posts are. There's no furring on the wood um, and they're just as white as possibly can be. I'll go ahead and walk you up here so you can really see what my work looks like. Um, totally smooth. That's just the pulp uh, from the board nice and smooth look at those nautical ropes guys these things were black jet black jet black so um so that's my work you can really see you know there's no furring of the boards they're not split the wood's not dry and um and this is the deck now the landscapers were here today and even though they've blown off this whole deck was already blown off once today and, um, and you can see the bits of grass adhering to, this is basically like recycled plastic is what you're looking at here. Um, these are very expensive. They are not boards. Um, it is, you know, a composite, uh, very expensive. Um, and I'll let you take a look at the sides. Well, I'll find a good side for you where you can really see. Um, but just take a look at those posts, guys. This was done with the X-Jet. You know, just smooth as can be, not dry. And of course, look at your nautical ropes. Re refer to the previous video, guys, so you can see what these things look like. That's the type of work that I do that comes with experience. I've done a bunch of these. So we're gonna go ahead and walk all the way out and pardon the rubbish. Uh, there's bird poop. Uh, this has been a, a tough clean for me because Something is dead in the woods and the smell is just horrific. And um, you catch a wind and, um, and I tell you what, uh, it is just nasty. And you've got these big buzzards and these carrion that are flying around that are feeding off whatever's dead back there. And, um, 
it hasn't been the most pleasant uh, cleaning experience. We're walking down the uh, deck. We're at about 628 feet here, um, but uh, I wanted to uh, point out to you uh, what things look like, um, in particular the boathouse. So I'm kind of walking fast, and you can see my stuff down there in the, uh, in the horizon, and uh, much uh, quicker a clean than the normal. We did not do uh, wood restoration, so um, they are getting ready to move and they just wanted it cleaned up. And so that's why we did this post with the X-Jet. Normally I would do these posts with a green tip, with a 25 degree tip and you stand off, really makes the post look brand new. Um, these posts have a lot of age on them. And I tell you what, um, I would have splintered and I would have made a bunch of them look uh, real furry. So I'm real happy with the way these turned out. You know, you can just see so can you see the splintering that's already happening here? So let me get down here. You see how this wants to fray out? So that, that post is in great shape and that's because I X-jetted it in lieu of hitting it with a high pressure tip. So, um, but a lot of these posts, the tops are rotten out and, um, and they're, just, they're just in bad shape. Check that guy out. He's just split straight down the middle. See what happens is moisture collects in the top right here, the morning dew. And what happens is over time, they start to split and rot. That's why it's best if you cap these, put a cap on these. But look where I am. I mean, I am just in the middle of the Florida woods. I am just deep, deep in it. I mean, this is what it looked like a million years ago. I couldn't imagine what the settlers had to go through. Um, I mean, it's just really gnarly. Uh, but anyway, there is a 25 gallon uh, chemical dispensing drum. And uh, I attach a 50 foot siphon hose in through there and up and down there with a screen on it. And that's how I shoot uh, my solution, uh, both my surfactant and my SH diluted. Um, there is uh, the 50 foot of siphon hose with the screen on it. There's the X-Jet M5, number 13 for a four gallon minute machine in case you're wondering. Uh, we have a two foot uh, stainless steel lance along with a Sutner easy pull and the Mossmatic Swivel. If you guys don't have a Mossmatic Swivel, do yourself a favor and get one. It is a game changer in regards to how much you're gonna tangle up. So uh, now, the reason that these uh, nautical ropes look so good is because not only do I shoot these with my solution, uh, but then I come with a 70-30 uh, hot, hot mix of SH and I'm very careful because you can burn in and make burn marks all along here from your residual drippage. So you really got to know what you're doing. And as you guys can see, you know, we've got a little bit of wind and when that wind kicks up and it does off this water, um, uh, you can really uh, mess yourself up. So, um, so the very first thing I do is pre-treat with water. Once I'm done doing that, I knock all the lichen off. I get some of the moss off. You know, we kind of uh, begin the process. Um, once that happens, uh, we lay solution. After wetting the deck, we lay solution. Then uh, the solution that we lay also is on the ropes. Then I take a break and I grab this two gallon pump up sprayer and I shoot straight, uh, you know, that 70-30 mix on there. And that just burns up all the rest of that green. Um, I let that dwell while that's dwelling. I then shoot these boards um, and then I jump up to the ropes and do the posts. But look at this boathouse, guys. This is what you came for. This is what you waited nine minutes for. Look at that flashing. Now the flashing is brown. That's brown aluminum. Look at the roof. Look at your fascia. Um, I, I hope it's doing its justice. We made all these, um, all these support uh, boards look brand new. Uh, we shot all down there. We did all the pylons. Just look how beautiful this is. We shot all down there. Look how beautiful the pylons are. But but mainly your fascia was just really bad. So um, uh, this last little section, I just ran a, a small 50 footer with a DN10. Um, and uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys, uh, there is the, the um, uh, mobile dock that lowers. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool, but you you can see your fascia is just beautiful. Uh, give me a hand out of the way. Look at that wood guys, brand new looking, right? That's done with an X-Jet. 
So if you if you take a look up into here, I mean, there were spider webs like you couldn't believe. It's super, super clean. All these nautical ropes are beautiful. Here's your deck, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and if you take a look, I'll tell you, inside these rafters, guys, all up in here, all the way across, it looked like if anybody's been to Disney World and you've gone on the Haunted Mansion, that it was bad. And look how beautiful that is now. Absolutely gorgeous. So, um, and we shot all these uh, boards along here as well. And this deck over here, which was always tricky, but look how great that turned out. Uh, rinse, rinse, rinse when you're doing stuff like this, guys. Um, so, thank you so much for coming out and seeing my video. Thank you so much for taking a look at what a composite deck looks like, what it looks like when it's clean and beautiful. Make sure you guys are documenting everything. Can you see this? Someone set something hot up against there and just melted the plastic. Um, so we made sure to capture uh, before pictures way before we got started so that, uh, you know, if anybody were to ever say anything, then we could say, nope, sorry, wasn't us. Um, anyway, that is about 11 minutes and 15 seconds. Have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning Trevor Thompson, TNT pressure cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. Give me a call at 386-453-4213. Bye, everyone. pressure cleaning life, the only life for me.